Today is Thursday, November 1st, 2018. I'm Margaret. And I'm Daniel. In today's news, more than 20 million early votes have been casted for our nation's midterm elections, with women and the elderly dominating early voter turnout. The weather for today will be rainy, with a high of 73 and a low of 63. November 4th through the 10th will be FUISA's International Education Week. There are going to be giveaways, food, CLPs, and lots of fun events to highlight international culture and community on campus. Events will include two CLPs, the International Fashion Show at 7 p.m. on Tuesday night in McAllister, and DeWai on Wednesday at 6 p.m. in Watkins. There will be food, henna tattoos, and free artwork. Interested in helping give clean water to those who would otherwise not have access to it? For 10 days, you can save the money you would normally spend on drinks and donate that amount to charity organizations 10 days. There will be a table outside the library on Friday to answer any and all questions. The event starts on November 5th and ends November 14th, so sign up and take the pledge. Women's soccer will take on Samford tomorrow at 4 p.m. and Western Carolina on Saturday at 7 p.m. as they look to close out their season on a high note. There will be a CLP discussion about the American Dream in light of the travel ban at 7 p.m. in Watkins' room at Trone. Furman Women's Basketball will have an exhibition game against USC Eichen today. Head on out and get a look at our Paladins before the regular season tips off. Furman Women's Volleyball takes on East Tennessee State University tomorrow at 7 p.m. Head on out to cheer on our Paladins. The Furman University Jazz Ensemble, featuring special guest artist saxophonist Adam Larson, will perform a variety of music in their CLP performance tomorrow at 8 p.m. in the Daniel Recital Hall. In the feature documentary, Traces of the Trade, a story from the Deep North, filmmaker Katrina Brown discovers that her New England ancestors were the largest slave trading family in the U.S. history. This CLP event will take place in Patrick Lecture Hall at 7 p.m. today. Nationally known sexuality educator Al Vernacchio will explore the components of healthy sexuality and examine three models for understanding it. The disaster model, the porn model, and the nourishment model. This CLP event will take place in the chapel today at 7.30 p.m. And now we will go to an interview with resident assistant Christina Bonin to talk about why you should join Furman's housing staff. I'm Christina Bonin, I'm a sophomore, and I'm an RA in Lakeside, and this is my first year being an RA. So in high school, I had a lot of different leadership positions and roles that were just a lot about um, helping people develop as, you know, in, as individuals and just kind of mediating conflicts and helping out relationships and stuff. So I knew it was something that I'm pretty good at and enjoy doing. Um, so knowing that the role of an RA is largely dealing with people and helping them live together well and have a community, um, I knew that that was a role before I even came to college that I wanted to have. So I'm not in a sorority, but um, I'm on a sorority hall, and that has actually been one of the best parts of being an RA. Um, we just have such a great community there, and every event I do, people come, and we just have a great time, and that's just been a really, really awesome experience. You should work for housing because it's one of the most rewarding things you can do. Thanks, Christina. Applications are live now, so if you're interested in joining housing, make sure to attend one of their information sessions at some point during this semester. And that's all we have for today, Paladins. Make sure to check out our website, can'tstopthefunk.com, to submit announcements and watch all of our previous episodes. Have a great anniversary of the Algerian Revolution, and tune in next time, tomorrow, for our next episode. <laughs>